Brianna Jai's murder a year ago was in part motivated by her transgender identity. I am glad that they will spend many years in prison and away from society. Her mother, Esther, speaking after the conviction of Brianna's killers. Today, Esther Jai visited Parliament and met the Labour leader, Keir Starmer. Before that, she was expected in the gallery to watch Prime Minister's questions. This week, the unwavering bravery of Brianna Jay's mother, Esther, has touched us all. As a father, I can't even imagine the pain that she's going through, and I'm glad that she's with us in the gallery here today. But later in the session, when Rishi Sunak dived into a pre-written riff about Keir Starmer's U-turns, he made no allowance for who might be watching above him. Pensions, planning, peerages, public sector pay, tuition fees, childcare, second referendums, defining a woman. Although, although in fairness, that was only 99% of a U-turn. The, the list goes on, but the theme is the same, Mr Speaker. It's empty words, broken promises and absolutely no plan. Of all, of, all the work, of all the weeks to say that, when Brianna's mother is in this chamber, shame, parading as a man of integrity when he's got absolutely no responsibility. Absolute. Of all... Esther Jai hadn't quite made it to the gallery to hear that exchange. Ten minutes later, she was there to hear this. Mr Speaker, and may I take the opportunity to ask the Prime Minister if he will consider apologising to Brianna Gray's mother yeah. for his insensitive yeah, 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 comment. Yeah. Prime Minister. Keir Starmer pointed at the gallery and said, she's up there, apologise. About the report in T's works. Rishi Sunak didn't and answered the MP's main question instead. The scope of the regeneration. At the very end of the session, Rishi Sunak paid tribute to Brianna's mother. For her mother to demonstrate the compassion and empathy that she did last weekend, I thought demonstrated the very best of humanity in the face of seeing the very worst of humanity. Kevin Badenoch, whose jobs include Minister for Women and Equalities, tweeted, It was shameful of Starmer to link his own inability to be clear on the matter of sex and gender directly to her grief. Labour are happy to weaponise this issue when it suits them. Scotland's former First Minister, Nicola Sturgeon, from a different perspective, agreed with the last bit of that, tweeting, Let's not kid ourselves. Had Brianna's mum not been there today, no one, including Keir Starmer, would have batted an eyelid at what Rishi Sunak said. Labour campaign bosses are trying to carve an image for their leader, a world away from culture war issues like the trans debate. Join me for a special GB News People's Forum Live on Monday... Rishi Sunak is hoping forays into culture wars can bring back some voters who deserted the Conservative Party since the last general election. Scan the QR code on screen or go to gbnews.com. What does that mean for you and your family? Tonight, the Conservative Party released a new campaign video of the Prime Minister, early electioneering on the economy inside what even his allies admit is more his comfort zone.